time on the tractor. Hello everybody and welcome, welcome back to Icarus. I'm Far Magician and over there is Kempus is going for a wee in the water. Bless him. He did get stuck in this shit all earlier. Um, but before we do start anything today, we are going into the mines. Uh, let's just interact with this. We've made a water skin and we've also made a few of the stone furnaces. Uh, this is just the last one that I'm getting made up now so we can keep one in our base. Uh, the rest are going to be um, in the mine for us, so that's nothing there to worry about. Uh, let's move that across, deploy that right next to the fireplace over here. Fantastic. Uh, we do need quite a bit of wood, uh, so I'm going to take a bit of that with us. Uh, we'll place some in the furnace over here for now as well. Um, one more thing that we do need to do is we need to make some basic armor because we're basic bitches so there's two heads there's going to be two bodies two lots for the arms two lots for the legs and two lots for the feet i'll place yours in the cabinet in the box thing just here um even though oh one lot's going on me which is amazing I didn't know it auto goes on you. I'm happy about that. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Let's get rid of everything we don't need on me at the moment. I do need to go and fill up my water. Oh, you've got a water thing. Yeah, I've just made it because it wouldn't let us fill it up in the river for some reason. I think right. One of those notorious Icarus bugs. So, because we are on a dedicated server, there are some bugs. Um, we can't fill up our water, um, so we're going to die of dehydration at some point. Uh, but I'm just going to throw my water skin into here, and when it rains, we should get some water coming up. And then we can start drinking, hopefully, potentially, possibly, maybe. Right, so, <laughs> arrow-wise, I've got 28 arrows. We're going over to the Star Cave, which is in that direction. I think. <laughs> I've put a marker on it. We've got a blue marker on it. Fantastic. Right, let's um run over then. Let's go. Right, so what we are going to do, because I don't want to keep all the stone in my inventory, we need to keep that really for the iron. Um, there's going to possibly be a cave wall over the top of it. In which there yeah. is. So we'll just make a few stone piles, we'll leave it here. And then not worry about it so much afterwards. I don't like using these stone pickaxes, they're terrible. Uh, so basically the outcome of this episode is we are going to be um, hopefully getting iron pickaxes, iron knives, iron, iron and iron to iron our clothes. Let's get a few of they, there we go, I'm in! Alright, let's turn on the light. Uh, I how much how much stone did I actually get? 79, I can't even make a doodah. Uh whilst I am here blocking the entrance, I am gonna place down one of our furnaces. And we're gonna put some wood in that straight away. And you know what, I'm just gonna activate it because I can. Uh we're getting the second furnace placed down. Uh so the only thing that we're gonna be getting is iron. Uh we can't we can get copper, we can uh, can we get gold? Uh, you can get gold, but it's... Well, There's no point. It's better to wait until you've got better axes, uh, better pickaxes, yeah. and then you'll get more. So we've got an iron node just in front of us. I don't want to get that yet. I just want to make sure that all the worms are deaded. And I'm poisoned. Yeah. 
And I'm poisoned again. You're pooping numbers. <laughs> Right, hopefully, not hopefully, because there's still another one. I think there might be one close to the back as well. I normally is. I could drink water in here. Oh. There's two over here, mind. Yeah, I'm on top of this one. Oh, you got him. I got stuck on a rock and I couldn't jump over it. Right, so whilst I am here, I'm taking a drink. Uh, my health is getting really low. Uh, so I'm just going to eat as much food as I can to keep my health going up. Uh, well, I'm just eating whatever i got, mate. Yeah, vegetables and fruit won't give you any health. Well, I've, I've eaten all my meat then. <laughs> Hang on a second, I will... No, it's fine, it's fine. It'll rejuvenate at some point. Well, you've stopped pooping numbers. Yeah, I know I have. <laughs> uh, right, so we are going for the iron if we can reach. Ooh. Hang on. <laughs> there we go. What? So yeah. it is going to be an episode of banging things. There's another oh, bastard. Please. I don't know where that's to. Oh, it's not near me, so I'm not worried. <laughs> I'm shooting him from underwater. And he's trying to shoot the really nasty poison bit. Oh no, no, he's looking at me. Now I can shoot him in the head. Oh, and I got pneumonia. <laughs> So basically, if you don't want to see us smashing rocks for the next 15 minutes, skip on. It's completely up to you. Um, and that's where we'll be making our iron pickaxes. We'll also... I, I think we should start staking the ground in where our, our mansion is going to be. I think that should be a good plan. I know we're in episode 2 already. Um... If, if you don't want to watch until the end, I can let you know now, in the next episode, we are going to be doing two missions. Uh, so, if you are a member, then you get to see the full missions. If you are just a normal YouTube subscriber, or just a regular viewer, without subscribing. Firstly, why? Secondly, um, you'll still be able to see what happens at the end of the mission. So we're going to do two missions in a half an hour episode, or if you are a member, you should hopefully, potentially, possibly get two member-only videos. But that's completely your choice. I've just remembered we forgot some vital equipment. What did we forget? Well, I'm, I'm already on 300 iron ore, to be honest. Yeah, well, I've put two ramps in the crate um, next to the furnaces, so yep. when you come to drop off, you can grab them and then it'll help you reach high places. You call me short? Well, we're all <laughs> short on Icarus. I think it's a gravity thing. I think it's like extra gravity. And it just makes everybody shorter. I read somewhere um, years ago that apparently if you go to space for a prolonged period of time, you actually grow and you get taller. And then right. when you come back down to Earth, you shrink again. That also happens when you sleep, mind. Does it? Yeah. So you have so, like a human slinky? I remember when I was a kid, uh, going to Alton Towers, 
other theme parks are available. Uh, <laughs> going to Alton Towers and I was allowed to ride Nemesis in the morning. In the oh, evening, man. I wasn't allowed to ride it because I was too short. So you shrunk during the day? Yeah, you shrink about two centimetres a day. Now, I've got a strange suspicion. Were you wearing high heels in the morning? No. Oh, right, okay. But I, my <laughs> mum did buy me platform shoes when she took me to Disney. I look like a proper Spice Girl. Do you know what it is though? If you've got young kids, you would kind of have to because if you're spending all that money to take them to yeah. Disneyland or Disney World, and they can't even go on a ride. Yeah. Like, it's devastating. So I, I, would, I, I would be like, yeah. No, I, I literally had Spice Girl shoes just to go on every single ride at Disney. <laughs> And I bet you burned all the photos when you became. <laughs> but you know what? I'm not embarrassed about that because I got on every single ride when I shouldn't have done. <laughs> the thing is, to be honest, if, it, if you're looking at pictures of someone when they're younger and that man brings out the embarrassing photo albums like they always do, the last thing you're looking at is what's on that piece. Yeah. Especially in mine, it's normally the outrageous hairstyle. That my mother had decided it would flicked upon us. <laughs> All the mullets. <laughs> Not even the mullets, like... Oh, some of them. Uh, it's it's traumatising. Like, I can't even talk about it without, like... Having a therapist present. <laughs> it's horrendous. That's why by the age of, like, 13, I'd, like, taken over and I was like, no... No, ma'am. I'll go to the hairdressers myself. I've only just got pneumonia. Look at you. I've had it for the past, like, five minutes. Oh, we can use the coal, can't we? Uh, yeah. We could put it in there. Well, we can't really use it for much, but we can put it in the furnace. Well. Yeah. It'll save chopping down all the lovely, nice trees. Do you reckon they've done the fix yet for the servers? Um, which fix? <laughs> <laughs> well, every time we log off the server and come back on it, will the ores appear again? Yeah, I think they didn't do it this week, but I think they're probably going to do it next week because that is an issue that I've heard a, I've heard a lot of people um, saying they're having. And I don't think many people are complaining about it, but I think they are aware of it. Yeah. Um, because it's not exactly a bad bug to have. Ooh, I'm gone. I don't want to lose that though, so what can I do? I've done some spoils. I honestly think we've removed all the iron from this area. I'm just finishing off this mode, and I think that's. We've got a co copper line. deposit in here, which is nice. Ooh. Later on. Popeye's always good. Oh, no, I can say one more. I just need to put up my back. Because I'm short. But yeah, I think they will eventually patch it and stop it. I it's only happened since they released the thump and I think it's because they've, they've made changes to the way the ores are actually in the game and how they they spawn and despawn yeah. to make it possible for the thump out to regenerate them. And I, ever since that, that's when the bug with the servers and the... Oh no, that's titanium. It looks very light. Please tell me we're far enough from my house. Uh, probably not. Right, we're probably not going to have a house when we get home. Uh, there is a thunderstorm happening outside at the moment. Yeah. Um, Which isn't good. It's not a good thing to see. It's not, but it's better to see it and not be in it than be in it and have to deal with that. <laughs> Right, I'm, I'm just getting my screenshot whilst whilst I'm waiting. Yeah, I'm grabbing this iron. I'm picking up 
me ramp. I was a bit of iron that dropped down, but I can't find it. And of course, it's probably gone in the water. Oh no, I found it. I found it. It is in the water. Woo! Yeah, I got four iron out of that lump. Don't want to lose four iron. Yeah, there's not there's not as much iron in, in this cave as I thought, but there's a lot of other ores, which is strange because normally 90% of it's iron. Yep. Well, we've got so, 43... Uh... 50, 52 bars at the moment. That is just dump some stuff that I don't need in here and see if I can pick up some of this. So basically, guys, what we're going to do now, we obviously wait until the end of the storm before we leave. Uh, we're also going to wait until all the iron's been collected as well. And then once that is done, we'll, we will come back to you in a few moments' time. So we've got quite a little bit of um, iron ingots at the moment. We're bringing the iron back with us. And we're going back to our our humble abode, which is somewhere around there. Uh, so once we get there, we'll smelt the rest. We're going to get a, um, a hammer thing. What's that called? Where you make your nails. A hammer? No, oh, where you make your nails. An anvil. An anvil, that's the word. Just because exactly. I've been addicted to forging fire and I've completely forgotten the word, all right? <laughs> yeah, because the anvil takes 40 of the ingots. Yeah, so we've got enough for the anvil. We've got enough to make a few nails straight away. Yeah, iron nails are important. Yeah. You kind of need them for everything. Plus, that storm has probably ruined our base, so we're probably best trying to get it upgraded to maybe some stone stuff. It looks alright. Actually, it doesn't look too bad, does it? I don't like how you can see the, the light from the fire through the walls. Well, there's a hole in the wall, that's why. Oh, is there? Yeah. 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 It, it's not that bad. Let's have a look with the hammer. It's been yeah. worse. It's down to 930 hit points out of 1200 so it's not too bad right so i just i just need some stone got some stone here so here's our anvil so we can take that we can place that down that's going to give us all the tools that we need 
start creating everything and anything and all the all the good things. And I've just dropped it again. Uh right, let's deploy, not drop. Place that there. And then we can get some iron nails made because they are important. I want to make that many. We'll make 200 nails for now. I always make the mistake of hitting the max button instead of the craft button. Yeah, it came up to 48 and I was like, nope, don't want yeah, that many. I'll, I'll type in, te like, I want 10 lots of this and then instead of pressing craft like a normal person, I'll hit max and then I'll yep. walk away and then I'll come back and go, why is it not done yet? <laughs> right, we've got one <laughs> slight issue. We need to get some more leather. Leather. Yes. And then we can start making all of our good items and things. Yeah, so that means we need to go and kill some stuff. Oh, oh fuck. Right, well there's a wolf down. Oh, that's good. Not when I was aiming for the cougar. Mm, to be fair, as long as you kill it, it's... Good. It doesn't really matter what you kill as long as you kill it and it doesn't kill you. Well, it's a jaguar, not a cougar. Don't yeah. kill me, you bugger! There we go. <laughs> so I, I honestly can't pick... wait until we got better stuff. I'm not gonna lie. Did you pick up some food while you were at the house? No. I, I'm i on a hunger diet at the moment. Ah, uh, are you on that? Um... I, I'm on a hunger strike until we've got decent materials. Ah, <laughs> uh, so you're on the starvation diet. Yeah. I've heard good results from that. Well, to be honest, we should have decent stuff after this, so the diet will be over. I want to know why we've just had a thunderstorm, but yet there's no water in the rain reservoir. It wasn't raining. But how do you have a dry thunderstorm? By it not raining when there's a thunderstorm. Yeah, but I've never seen that happen. That's not a thing. But then again, we do live in Great Britain, like, right. gas, like, 90% of the time. It also rains here when it's sunny. Exactly. We, but, but, you can't complain about that, because we get a lot of rainbows. Oh, rainbows! <laughs> yeah. Come here, Mr. Komodo, give me your leather. I am so tragic with bad stuff. Got you. Right. I've got 58 leather, that should be enough for now. Well, I've just got 19 off this one Komodo. So. Am I even... Oh. I really need to make some more arrows. Oh, fuck, fuck that. Right, okay, so... Ooh, I just one-shotted a Jaguar. They make some strange noises, though, have you noticed? Like, when you kill the Jaguar. Okay. What What do the noises sound like? I'm not going to do it. Go on, go on. <laughs> no, it's, it sounds like, like a, a moose or something. It's, like, really weird. And I'm sure your viewers have heard it when you've killed one. They don't need me to try and imitate it. <laughs> <laughs> really, really don't. Ooh, there's a wolf across there. Let's see if we can kill Mr. Wolfie. Where the fuck did they go? Oh my god. I'm not happy about that. Got you. I love it when you shoot them and they come running towards you. And then they die just at your feet. 
It's like the liver room, but on Icarus. Liverette. Yeah. <laughs> right, so I'm swapping out my axe. I'm swapping out my knife. Swapping out my pickaxe. We'll keep them in there. We we'll never know if we ever need them again, but they're there for shits and giggles. Yeah. Do you want me to make you everything? Um, have you got enough stuff? Uh, there's an axe. There's a pickaxe, and there's a knife. Get in. Ah, a nice shiny one too. It's a good job because my knife was about to break anyway. So, I can just be there now. Ooh, I've got nice shiny things. I feel better now. Actually, oh. I've just thought what we should have done is we should have collected all those worm stuff. Yeah. Then we could have made a nice cave worm bow. We could have done a nice cave worm bow. Yeah. But oh, then well. I've got a nice crossbow. You've just made a crossbow. Yep. That's not fair. <laughs> would you like to retrieve your bolt out of my head? <laughs> yes, I would. <laughs> the crossbows are good. They do do quite a bit of damage. But... They are a bit slow at reloading. Mm. That's the only drawback, though. Right, is there anything else that we can make in this episode? There's approximately five minutes left before we put our stake in the ground. Um, I know we need to make... What like to make? I know, it's not what I'd like to make. We need to make mortar and pestle. Yes. That's something. I'm, I'm making my one pole that I'm going to be marking the ground with. I'll go and get with some silica. No, that's salt. That's oxide. Where's the silica? With my nice new shiny metal axe. There we go. Right, so for a mortar and pestle, we need four silica and we need 12 stone. And that means we can then start making steel bloom, which we put in the furnace to make steel ingots. But we can't do it in these furnaces, can we? Um, no, we can't. We need concrete furnace yep. or steel. But it's we can still make it, we just can't turn it into steel. Damn, fuck, uh, wolf. Have you got it? Yeah. I got it with me, nice shiny new knife. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've just made us a skinning bench. Oh, and I've... I've just knifed the wolf up. Oh. I've chopped him up on the bench. Oh well. There'll be plenty more. I am actually going to move. This. And I'm actually going to place my bunny on it. Because that should give us a lot more than everything. Actually... I've just thought I am going to make us some above head storage. Above head storage? Yes. For this storage box. Okay. Oh. I, might, I might need to make a second one too minutes. Because I think it doesn't like just have it. That that's really, really wait. <laughs> and then it means we've got more floor space. There we go. Guys, we've got an attic. There we go. Fair enough. Right, I think we should sleep and put our first stake in the ground. Do you not oh. want to make this mortar and pestle first? Oh, well, yeah. We can make that in the morning, though. I'm, I'm in bed now. Right, okay. Yeah, well, I know what you're like. It's, you just get grumpy if I, you don't get your eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's make a mortar and pestle. 
take that, we'll place that on there, we'll place it lovingly on the crafting bench for now. That's if I absolutely do the right thing, which I have done for once, hallelujah. Place that there. So we can do loads of things in here, we can get crushed bone, make epoxy, so I'm just going to put that going in the background because we're going to need epoxy like mad. Um, and yeah, I, I think... I think it's time to place the, the stick in the ground. Now, this wa this waterfall is the idea of this base. Now, it's going to be a big base, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, it will be as big as you want it to be. We're going to have two towers either side. It's going to be about six stories high. And walkways to get all the way across to everything. I believe that's how it should be. So I want to place the first stick in the ground around about here. Yeah. Right, so the first stick is in the ground. We've, we've what, what's the terminology that they say in builder's terms? With broken the, ground? Yeah, oh, probably. <laughs> we've, we've broken ground, guys. We've broken ground. Now, this is the end of the episode. What's going to happen in the next episode is we're going to be doing two missions. These two missions are on the sticks map. They are, I can't even say the first one. Oh, <laughs> Is that right? Uh, I think so, yeah. Oh, and I, I, my pronunciation is just as bad as yours. So. And the other one's headlong. Uh, headlong is the easiest one to do. It's literally you drop down from your drop ship and then go back up. You've technically completed it. Um, I can't remember what Oklahoma is, but we'll find out. Um, and then in between, well, after doing that, we're going to get the main pole foundations. What are you do What? You've got your leg up in the air. You know that, right? Are you, are you, what? yeah, are you being the karate kid at the moment? <laughs> I don't know. I just like to think that I'm standing on a pool. Wash on, wash off. Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we're going to get the main structure in so you can see how big it's all going to be for the actual next open world mission. But that is it from us. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, enjoy, do what you need to do. If you want to see the full missions, make sure that you become a member. You can see it all. And we'll see you very, very soon. Love you. Goodbye.